Keeper and the Jet Set Pen. Hey you guys, it's Audrey and today I'm doing my very first Pinky Cooper review. And it's not on Pinky Cooper, it's on Pepper. Not from Iron Man. Pepper Parson. You think you're the young Pepper Parson? She's a doggy. Roof, roof. Uh, but before we get on to the review, I want to give a few shout outs to Panda Lemonade, LPS Dalmatian, and Rachel Hollissey. Thank you guys for supporting my channel by leaving nice comments. You guys rule. <laughs> Pepper is super adorable. Um, ever since I saw. Uh, well, you know what? I'll start out with Mommy and Gracie. So I watched, um, I said this on the toy hunt too. I saw Mommy and Gracie do a toy hunt video and they mentioned that they were not going to be selling Pinky Cooper anymore. So maybe we should grab these while we can. So we decided to grab Pepper because of course she's super adorable. And ever since Pinky Cooper came out, she was my favorite out of the three doggies, which are right here. It says, join Pinky Cooper and the Jet Set Pets as they turn, uh, they turn looking fab into an international adventure. This talented team met as students at fashion design school and instantly became jet setting BFFs who help solve fashion dilemmas around the world. Join them all their, uh, join, join them on all their fashion adventures at PinkyCooper.com. Whoa. And there's Pepper. I really want to get her dog. Because her dog is super cute. Pinky Cooper, there's the background. Pinky BFF, Pepper Parson. And the Jet, Pinky Cooper, and the Jet Set I can still remember that commercial. And Pepper Parson. She looks totally different. See, see, see? She should have more blue, not green. That's preferences for the box. But let's. I'm not gonna call it a doll. Let's get on to the puppy. She is super, super adorable. I have to admit, I, when when you see her in the box, she doesn't look as good as she is outside the box. Look at her eyes. They're so cool. And then she has plastic, but we, I call them real eyelashes because they stick out and they aren't painted on. So I'll just say real eyelashes. And she's got a little heart in her forehead like all the others do. But I love like the different shades on her. Like, it's just awesome. I love her. She has a lot more detail than I thought she did. And she's got a little headband up here with a little flower is what it seems like. Hey, that design was on Coffin Bean Abbey. Like that same exact, oh my gosh, that's so weird. That is super, super weird. Cause it seemed almost exactly like that. It was on her dress. Um, but one of the really cool things about these dolls, I'm gonna really quick take her off the stand. This is way too big for her, by the way. It has to go around her neck, but we're using it for reviewing purposes. What's really cool is you can take her ears slash hair out and then exchange it with other ones. Or you can take them both out. See, it has two colors on it. Pepper has like a light brown, then like a chocolatey dark brown. But then you can switch them so it's the other color that's facing forward. But personally, I like the darker color better. And then you can switch it with other dolls too. But voila! Hello! And that's the same thing if you want to put different hats on. You take off their um, hair slash ears. I'm gonna I'm gonna start calling it their hair. You take, oh my gosh, this is just not going in all the way. You take off their ears, no hair. What was I calling it? Yeah, hair. You take off their hair, and then you can put in the different hat or take off the hat. But I'm putting these back on the stand. What's really cute? I I love their hands. Like that's one of my favorite parts about them is their hands. So cute. They have little hearts in the center of them. And then she's got the same on the other hand, except it has a little bit of it. And 
cheek to her like this. A little bit. But her dress is really cute. I love this dress. It has a cute little flower on it. And the cute little bells. And then it has like an animal pattern right here. And then just a layer of lace and sparkles on top. Sparkly top. There's a little stuff for that. Then she has these super adorable little shoes that actually come off pretty easily. So I'm going to take them off to show you. Plus I can show you her feet. But I'll get on to articulation and stuff after this. But her shoes are super cute. They have little bows in the back. And then a little space for her. Not really toes to go through. And then here's what her feet look like, by the way. So used to that with Barbies. I used to play with Barbies, you guys, and I was so used to these feet. And then she's got little spots, because of course she's a little doggy, and she looks just like she's a doggy with spots all over her. Like a Dalmatian. And then she is bendable. She's articulated at the elbows and at the shoulders, but not at the wrists or the knees. That's funny, they made her articulated at the elbow, but not at the knees. And she, she does feel like rubbery, like a bendable kind of rubbery feel. Not that much right up here, it's more hard, but like right here down at her legs. I think maybe they did that instead of making her legs bendable. And then, where, where's the brush? She comes with a little purse. And this brush, oh my gosh. I'll show you more of the person just a second. I just wanna show you this. This is so Ever After Highlight. See, there's the face and then here goes the hair. Oops, weird thing right there. There goes the hair, exactly like Ever After High. Their hair, I just wanna say this really quick. I completely forgot to say it. So smooth, oh my gosh. Except at the end right there. Gotta make that smooth, gotta make that smooth, gotta make that. And then her little bag, once again, has the little face right there. And it's in the shape of a heart, by the way, which is super cute. So once again, these are super, 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 super adorable. At least Pepper is. Um, but once again, they are probably going to be gone from the stores. So definitely try and pick one of these up if you have been eyeballing them. Not really literally putting your eyeballs on them, but just watching them. Um, but that is pretty much it for this review, guys. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.